Here we are going to graph y is equal to tangent parentheses 1 over 4x inside, and then we have the plus 1. So first, we are going to find the domain for this first. Keep in mind the graph were tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. They all have vertical asymptote, right? So we have to find the domain first. So we see that this is the same as saying y is equal to, let's look at tangent as sine over cosine, and then the inside stays the same. So we have sine of 1 over 4x over cosine of 1 over 4x, and then we have the plus 1. And you see we have a fraction here, so to find the domain, we have to make sure that the bottom is not 0. So let's write down, let's make sure the denominator, which is the cosine of 1 over 4x, we don't want this to be 0. And now, cosine of what? It's 0. Well, let's once again look at the unit circle. So let's draw the unit circle here. And cosine is the x value. So we know this point here and this point here, they have the x value to be 0. From here, this is 0 radians. Once we turn to here, this is pi over 2. And then once we turn to here, this is 3 pi over 2, right? So we know we want the inside to turn out to be pi over 2. The inside is 1 over 4x, so you have to first write that down. So let's put down 1 over 4x, and we want this not equal to pi over 2. So that, you see, we follow pretty much the same condition right here. And we are going to put the pi over 2 here, because you know there are a few more things I have to do. The next one is 3 pi over 2, and then you have the 5 pi over 2, so on, so on, so on, right? This is 1 over 4x is not equal to this, right? That's the things you have to work out. We have to isolate this x. What do we do? Well, we can just multiply by 4 right here, and then we have to multiply by 4 right here on the right-hand side, okay? So that you see this will out, and then this will cancel out, and then we get x that's not equal to by the way, this is the solution right here, right? So you have to work this out individually. 4 times pi over 2. 4 times uh, pi over 2, the 2 and then the 4 cancel out, so you have 2 pi. So let me just put down 2 pi here. And then the next number is 4 times 3 pi over 2. Reduce the numbers first, so 1, 2. 2 times 3 pi, you get 6 pi, isn't it? What's the next one? The next one will be 5 pi over 2. And then uh, 4 times 5 pi over 2, you'll get 10 pi. So each every time, you are going to go up by 4 pi. And that's the period as well, anyways. All right, so you can also have the negative numbers right here, negative pi over 2, and then the negative 3 pi over 2, right? So let's just put this down, negative pi over 2, and then negative 3 pi over 2. It's pretty much this, but then just negative. So, we have negative 2 pi, negative 6 pi, and so on, right? And this will tell you the domain, and this will also tell you the vertical asymptote, so we are ready to graph it. So let me just go ahead, set this up, and let's put on 2 pi, 6 pi right here. Let's say this is 2 pi, and let's say this is 6 pi, and then this is negative 2 pi, and then this is negative 6 pi. Vertical asymptote. Go ahead, do the vertical dash lines. So this is the most important thing whenever you are trying to graph secant, tangent, cosecant, cotangent, the vertical asymptotes. Okay? And now what? Well, a table will help. So we can have some specific points, right? So let's go ahead and do a table uh, right here. x and then tangent of 1 over 4 times x, and then we close the parentheses, and then at the end we plus 1. So plugging some numbers can never go wrong with 0. When x is 0, we get tangent of 0, which is 0, and then we add 1 to it, right? So let me write this down for you. This is tangent. All together inside will be 0, and then you add 1. Tangent 0 is 0, plus 1 is just 1. This time, we do not have 0, 0. We have 0, 1. So it's right here, and let me just indicate that right here for you. This is 0, 1. 
what's the next number I should use for x? We'll take a look. This right here is 0. This right here is 2 pi. In the middle is pi, so we're going to use pi. I'm going to plug in pi for x. Plugging pi into here, we get tangent pi into x. That's just going to be pi over 4. So we put on pi over 4, close parentheses, and then you add 1. Pi over 4 is what? It's 1. And then we add another 1 to it, so it would be 2. And you see, what this plus 1 is doing is pretty much bring your original tangent graph up one, one time, right? So you go ahead. This is pi. Depending on your teacher to see if you want to label these numbers, but yeah. And then you go ahead, go up right here. This is 2. So pi and 2. This is another point. And let's use negative pi. And you see this is going to be tangent. Plug in negative pi in here, you get negative pi over 4 and then plus 1. This is negative 1. Plus 1, we get 0. So when x is negative pi, which is right here, we end up with 0. Okay? And then you are ready. You can just go ahead. This is once again like a graph that's going up, right? So you just go ahead, connect the dots like this, and then you do the same exact copy. So you go from here, and then this is another point. Just kind of move one period, right? One cycle, one period, like from here to here. And you can just add 4 pi. This is 0. This will be 4 pi. And this is also in between of 2 pi and 6 pi. But anyways, you just go ahead and do a bunch of this, right? And you go right here, put point here, and then you go ahead and graph it. Just like that. And now let's write down the domain. So let's put on D. And then domain is going to be the set of all the x such that we don't want x to be these numbers, right? And let's see if there's a connection between these numbers. They all have pi. So we know this is a multiple of pi. And this is what you can do. You can look at 2s, 2 times 1, right? And you can look at 6s, 2 times 3. And we talk about it, the next number is going to be 10, right? 10 pi. And then 10 is going to be the same as 2 times 5, right? And you still have the pi, of course. And you have 2 times negative 1 for this, 2 times negative 3 for that. So you can write this down as the set of all the x values such that I don't want x to be a multiple of 2 times some number. And 1, 3, 5, so on, so on, are the are integers. So we can write down x cannot be 2k pi. They all have this 2. They all have this pi. But then the k's are just 1, 3, 5, so on. So we have to indicate that where k is an odd integer. Okay? And then range is once again from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we are done. That's it.